big game changer is that 5G will use much higher frequency bands than previously thought viable for mobile broadband and other applications. Such millimeter wave signals have physical properties that are both a limitation and a strength. They tend to travel best in narrow and straight lines, and they do not go through physical objects as well. But brilliant engineers have developed new antennas that can aim and amplify signals. Now, to make this work, five, the 5G build-out is going to be very infrastructure intensive, requiring massive deployment of small cells. I'm confident that the actions will lead to a cornucopia of unanticipated innovative uses and will generate tens of billions of dollars in economic activity. And that's damn important because it means that U.S. companies will be the first out of the gate. And that is why 5G is a national priority and stay out of the way of technological development. Unlike some countries, we do not believe that we should spend the next couple of years studying what 5G should be or how it should operate. The future has a way of inventing itself. Turning innovators loose is far preferable to expecting committees and regulators to define the future. We won't wait for the standards. We're already seeing the industry gearing up to seize this opportunity. Verizon and AT&T tell us they'll begin deploying 5G trials in 2017. And the first commercial deployments they're talking about are expected in 2020. And we're not done. As part of our July 14 action, we also plan to ask for comments on opening up other high-frequency bands. Many of the high-frequency bands that we will make available for 5G currently have some satellite users, as well as some Defense Department applications, or at least the possibility of future satellite and defense users. This means sharing will be required between satellite and terrestrial wireless, an issue that is especially relevant in the 28 gigahertz band. But if anyone tells you that they know the details of what 5G is going to become, run the other way. If something can be connected, it will be connected. Hundreds of billions of microchips connected in products from pill bottles to plant waterers. We must reject the notion that the 5G future will be the sole provenance of urban areas. The 5G revolution will touch all corners of our country. A lot more antenna siting decisions by local governments and tightened our shot clock for siting application reviews. America's local governments will play an important role in determining how we fulfill this national priority. You can be sure of only one thing. The biggest Internet of Things application has yet to be imagined. Tens of billions of dollars in economic activity. And that's damn important. 5G is coming. And as you heard him say, there's billions of dollars at stake. So you had better stay out of the way. The FCC has officially greenlit the technology without any testing into the potential dangers. And the rollout has already begun. Mr. Wheeler is right. There's no stopping 5G. So I thought we damn well better look into what 5G is and what the potential dangers are. Here's a short clip briefly explaining what 5G is. 5G is the next generation mobile network. About every eight or 10 years, the mobile network technology that connects your phone to the network changes, and this is the next big step up. It should be faster and it should be more reliable. The industry is excited about 5G because it gives them a lot more capacity in the network, which means that when you're in a crowded area like a stadium or a crowded city, your phone is actually going to work instead of just having that spinner spinning that says you're not getting your data. 5G also lets the network operators talk to a lot of different types of devices, Internet of Things, that's going to be farm silos, drones, cars, factory robots, there are going to be a lot of new things that can attach to the network that don't use the network today. 
Part of the reason they're excited about that is because 5G is going to have very low communication delays. So for example, one self-driving car can talk to another and get an answer fast enough that it can be useful. Another reason is because it's going to use less power. So something like a networked temperature sensor is economically viable. It's something you can use to run your business. We should see 5G arriving in 2019 for the networks and the phones. We have tests going on right now in lots of different parts of the world. In fact, there are a lot of people bragging about how they already have 5G running now, but those are preliminary versions of the technology. So we'll first see it in 2019 and broader availability showing up in 2020 and beyond. Sounds pretty cool on the surface, right? But many people say that there is much cause for concern with 5G. Now keep in mind that 5G will be everywhere. This is a huge infrastructure investment in 5G, and not only will there be many new towers, but they can also put many 5G towers on things such as light poles, street lamps, and street signs. And they'll be everywhere because like you heard earlier, 5G doesn't travel as well as 4G, so they'll have to be. Another big concern with 5G is that it's already used by the military for crowd control. You see, the human body is affected by 5G frequencies. It can make people collapse, hear voices, lose control of their emotions, pass out, and even lose the use of their extremities. And these frequencies will now be surrounding us everywhere we go. We will be saturated in these frequencies. And it could lead to the rise of AI. Elon Musk has said that the technology already exists to combine the human brain with technology through the internet. It just has a bandwidth issue. Elon has also went into depth as to how dangerous and unstoppable AI already is and feels that this melding with machines that 5G could make possible is our only way to coexist with the AI. 5G frequencies have also been shown to be dangerous. In studies on rats, 70% of females exposed to just 15 minutes of 5G a day showed massive reductions in ovarian production, leading people to fear and equate 5G with the depopulation agenda. Data also shows an increase in tumors in rats exposed to 9 hours of these frequencies per day. These towers put off massive amounts of radiation, and we're talking about the inevitable addition of many more towers, so I believe based on what I've seen on the dangers of 5G so far, that we need to be deeply concerned. I mean exactly what are we unleashing on society, and once unleashed, will we lose control of it as Elon Musk claims is inevitable? Will the technology be used against us? What can we do to prepare for these dangers? I know that I'll be investigating 5G much more deeply now, so stay tuned for more videos on this coming technology from here on me on things and stuff. Until then, I'll see y'all next time right here.